We are now recording the September, or uh, sorry, I'm still in September, October 7th, 2016 Small Business Accounting Advisors. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. We have a new guest today, Jamie Jones, who's going to give us a demo. And Linda's been working with her, so I will let you ladies take over. All right. Well, welcome to our Friday happy hour at the end of the week. We try to go finish up all our work with a smile and maybe learn a few extra things and get the help that we need to be the best QuickBooks Pro Advisors there are. And anyway, I've been working with Jamie Jones as I think I went to a seminar or something or a webinar. And I learned or maybe I was reading Facebook. Oh, you know, there's so much we're overwhelmed with. But I was looking and I saw that Sage had a program called Sage Payment Solutions and it works seamlessly with QuickBooks Desktop, with QuickBooks Online, with Sage and with other programs as well. So I thought, wow, that's great. And they have a really good deal, a partnership. So you can make money like we can with timesheets and uh, Avalara and things like that. So I have invited Jamie to come and she is a happy clown. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy this and have a good time today. Good. Please welcome Jamie from Sage Payment Solutions. It's Merchant Processing. Let her tell you how special it is. Thank you. All right. Hey, hey, thanks for that. That's an incredible introduction. So I need to know, am I sharing my screen? Is everybody seeing my Sage Payment Solution slide? No. Not yet, Jamie. There, there it go. is. Now you see it, right? So as we go through this uh, at different points along the way, I'm going to stop and say, hey, are there questions? And Gina's going to open the mic that we can talk about things. But I'm, uh, I think you're going to be really amazed when you see this module. Most people don't realize there's an alternative. Well, we feel that Intuit did such a brilliant job at marketing themselves as the only integrated solution. And uh, they forgot about us. <laughs> So we're reaching out to the QuickBook Pro advisors and saying, hey, let's take a look at what we can offer your clients as well. Uh, I'm a big believer in choice and giving your customers choice. If they're using Intuit Payment Solution and they're happy with Intuit Payment Solution, God bless them. We don't want, we're not going to talk to them. We're not going to bug them. We're not going to, but if you got clients who are unhappy, it's nice to know they have a choice. And you can refer them over to us that we get a chance to show them that there is another option. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And I'm going to show you that QuickBook module and how it works. You're going to be amazed at how fast and easy it really is. We'll, I'll touch lightly on some of the other Sage payment solutions we have. And I want to talk to you about this partner program and the commissions and bonuses that you can earn by partnering with us. And it's basically referring your clients to us that allows us to show them this integrated module that I'm going to be showing you today. And as I was talking about, Sage was out there with this first. Sage is, there's that whole Sage software world. And then there's Sage Payment Solution, which is where we're at, is over here to the side. And we created these payment solutions to go with the Sage materials first. And then we expanded into other software, including QuickBooks. And there's where Intuit saw what we were doing thought it was wonderful, bought their own merchant service company and created their own integrated solution. And again, this is where people didn't realize, not only do we have this, we've had it. We've been around a very long time. We're out there on the cutting edge of all the new and different payment solutions. And I'm going to touch on that lightly and show you some other ones as well, but we're going to focus on QuickBooks. So that you know when you are asking or referring your customers to talk to us, you're putting them in good hands. It, Sage has been around a long time doing a lot of business for a lot of people. We value our reputation and the service that we provide. You can see on this slide, we have some large brand name companies that we work with as well as with your clients. We're proud of that. We're going to take good care of them. 
So this slide we're starting to talk about now some of the solutions. And as Linda said, yep, we have solutions for QuickBooks Enterprise, QuickBooks Point of Sale, uh, QuickBooks Online, as well as non-QuickBook solutions for people who aren't using QuickBooks. If you have clients who are running nonprofits and are looking for better rates on their, or better ways to donate, to get people to donate money and a better payment solution for processing those donations, they can talk to us. We also have mobile solutions and other things we'll talk about as well, but we're here to see QuickBooks, so let's take a look at it. Okay, everybody sees down here at the bottom of my screen that I have the taskbar open showing now, and there is QuickBooks open and running. And this is the module right beside it. Now, typically as a, as a bookkeeper, and I'm a firm believer of the world of difference between there are accountants and then there are bookkeepers, and I was a bookkeeper and not an accountant. <laughs> but as a bookkeeper, first thing in the morning, I would come into work, I would open up my email, I would open up QuickBooks, get it running in the background, one click on this little gray button down here, and then that opens up the module that connects to QuickBooks, so it updates and it synchronizes. And that's all you have to do to get it to synchronize. One click opens it up. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and open up QuickBooks, and here's this invoice, and I'm gonna run through this quickly and then go back and look at it slowly and ask questions, or allow you to ask me questions as to uh, this tool and how it works. Okay, so John Doe calls me on the phone, says, Jamie, I'm ready to pay this invoice, invoice number 210. Uh, you can go ahead and put it on my credit card. So I open up the invoice, and by the way, I don't have to open the invoice for this to work. I'm opening up the invoice so you can see what happens. In the world of Intuit, the next step would be to go up to receive payment. For us, instead of going up to the top of the screen, the client would come down to the bottom of the screen and click this button here, which would open up this window that allows them to then process this payment. So we said this was invoice number 210. Over to the right, where that pound sign is and the cursor is flashing, I'm going to type in the number of the invoice and press enter. It brings up all the information. All I need to do next is the blue button in the bottom corner that says process sale. Click that and you can see on your screen it added the payment, created a receipt, emailed the receipt, and I'm done. Two clicks. Typed in the invoice number, press enter, click process sale, and it's done. I can print out a copy of this if I want to. I'm just gonna close it. You notice it marked the invoice in the background. It's marked as paid. The payment is sitting in the undeposited funds account until I do my reconcile and move it over from there into the checking account. So how fast and easy is that? But let me go once, I'm gonna go a little slower through this process and talk about some of the other features. Then we'll open up to what questions do you have about what other things can be done in here. So we knew we had John's invoice number, but if John called and wants to pay more than one invoice or he doesn't remember the invoice number, he's just ready to make a payment and authorize me to make that payment. Instead of putting an invoice number, I can put in John's name in here and I don't have to type the entire name. I just begin typing it until I see it in the list and then click search. And what that's going to do now is bring up all of John's open invoices that if he wants to pay this one and then this one and then this one, I just check the ones he wants to pay and you notice in the amount field how it's adding them up so I don't have to get the calculator out and add them up or worse, try to do it in my head and embarrass myself. <laughs> so it's really fast and easy if I wanna pay more than one invoice. This information here, where we've saved the credit card information. The first time John uses a credit card, I do need to get that information into this window. This does not pull from QuickBooks. That's not safe, we don't do that. So you, the information has to get in. You can type it in or you can swipe it in if you have one of those machines where you just swipe the card and it'll auto-populate, it'll do it that way. Once you have the information in, you click this green save button and it will save it. So you saw before, I put in the invoice and poop, there was all the information already. 
What's nice about our module is that we're able to save multiple credit cards, up to 10 per client, that if John wants to use his Visa, and then the next time his MasterCard, and then the next time his American Express, whatever card John wants to use, I have them all saved that I can just click on whichever one he wants to use today. And all his information is saved. 100% PCI compliant, encrypted to the like level five encryption, which is the highest encryption that is out there. So all that information is saved and ready to go anytime that John comes in. Also, if John pays by check, I can also process checks through this module. So I need his routing number and his account number. And what we did was we had credit card authorization forms that we, we modified to add on there and e-check so that we had his authorization on file that we could process his payments through checks as well as credit cards. Just like the credit card, I just saved the information so it's there and then process sale when I'm ready to process it. Very nice. And there's one more feature I want to show you and then we'll open it up. And that's this guy up here toward the top of the screen, email. More and more clients are wanting to be able to send the invoice to their customer and have the customer pay it themselves directly out of their inbox. Saving a lot of time as well as getting that cash flow, keeping that cash flow moving. So when I select e-payment or email payment and then which one I want to send to him notice this is going to now send him an email and in that email is going to be a button that he can click that will allow him to review the invoice and then enter his own credit card information or checking account information and then click process sale so he does that on his end this can be modified, by the way, at an email template that you can put whatever words in here, you can put your company logo in here and that sort of thing as well. It's just, again, a lot of people like being able to send the invoice and have John pay it himself. You'll notice this letter E up here, that means that one has already been emailed. So when I do send invoices out through email, it indicates it for me so that I remember because I'm, I'm one of those people. <laughs> I got to remember, oh yeah, I sent that. Up here under the word reconcile at the top of the screen where the menu bar is and then reconcile email is going to now show me, I can look up all of the invoices I have emailed out and see if they are paid or unpaid. So if I'm searching through and say, oh, I sent these all out Monday, here's Friday, last thing, I want to send these all, I want to process all of these at once, I click the button up here, post to QuickBooks down here, and all those email payments that people have been making through the week are now going to be processed, all of their invoices are going to be marked paid. And by the way, when they send the email, they process their payment in their email, they're gonna get a receipt immediately from when they process it, they'll get a receipt back saying it was successfully processed and it will block it so that they cannot accidentally pay the invoice twice. But for my end, I'm just doing this so that it will post in QuickBooks so that all the invoices will be marked as paid. In the event that John says, geez, Jamie, I, I don't have it. Maybe I lost it. Maybe I deleted it. You know, John being John, that's okay. Not a problem. Now I'm going to search the unpaid and I'm going to find that, that one that I had in there for John. And he's in the list here. We're going to go down a little further, I think. There he is. And I can just resend it to him. Also, if John comes in or calls me and says, never mind, I'll just go ahead and process that one because I'm going to go ahead and pay for these other two as well. I can pay for all of them just because it's marked with an E. It does not limit me. I can pay it any other way that I would as well. Okay, so that is in a nutshell what this is. There are additional features, but before I get further along, I want to see if you have questions for me at this point. Can we talk ACH? Uh, we did that down here with the e-check. Yeah, I oh, saw that. I saw you said that John could process that. Sure. And so no. that's ACH. And um, do you get cheaper charges for ACH as opposed to credit card? 
That's a really excellent question, and I'll be very honest with you folks right now. I'm not the payment expert. There are so many variations as to what clients are doing and what they're being charged, how they use things, that it's very difficult for me to quote you prices and rates. Yeah. That's why we asked to be able to see, well, what is your, cur- your customer currently doing? Mm-hmm. Here's what I do now. That because it's Sage and because we're wholesale as a credit card processor, not a third party vendor, that without even seeing what your customers are doing, I can tell you we can save them at least 10 to 20% of what they're currently paying. But when we see what they're doing and how they're doing is when we begin to, and I'll show you that in a few minutes when we get to the payment side of things, about how it is we go about and put that together. There so are I don't want to quote and say questions. guarantee you're going to get, you know, lower pricing, but I will say that overall we can, but it depends on the different add-ons and what else they have and how else they're processing payments. Jamie, we have a yeah. couple of other questions. Good. Um, Marietta asks, does it work with QBO? And we know that it does. Uh, questions, which account products does it support? We might maybe when we go back, you could show that slide again. It, and it, she asked, does it replace the received payment process in QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online? And it looks like it does? Correct. Correct. Okay. Instead yeah. of going to receive payment, you go to this window. Got it. Now, what about if instead of doing an invoice, when somebody buys, they just pay? It's a sales receipt. So typically, because what most people do is invoices, I have this particular model to go to invoices by default. But you notice up here when it was the payment type that I can drop down the arrow. And if I do receipts or statements, or even if I have, oops, I don't have anything yet, unapplied payment, we'll apply it later. Got it. Yeah, all of those are available here from this drop-down window. Well, sales receipt is available. Yes, right there. Uh-huh. there I think that's it. Uh, Marietta, if you want to unmute, if you have any other questions right now, feel free. Um, no, I think those were all of them. Yeah, it, was, I, it looked um, really cool because it looked like you just skipped the receipt payment. Um, right. This was received payment, so that's really cool. I'm assuming it's the exact same flow if you were working on QuickBooks Online. Same it idea. is it is different. I'm glad that you brought up because it oh. is a little bit of a different system, but I'm not set up yet to be able to demonstrate that because okay. QuickBooks Online is a little tricky, you've probably experienced. <laughs> so that when we're trying to set up demo accounts and so forth, it's been a little tricky for us to get it to work well. But it is a little bit different looking, but as far as being able to have the convenience of all these things in one place and being able to uh, send uh, email payments and the, your customers being able to pay directly. And something we haven't talked about yet is what about those cus- customers in situations where you're doing a payment batch, so to speak. It's like a, maybe it's a place where they rent things and rental payments are due the first of every month. or. Right. It's a membership and half of your people pay on the first and half of your people pay on the 15th. You can do batch payments in here as well. Mm -hmm. Under processing, instead of a single customer, we go to multiple customers. And under there, depending on, because different people set up their QuickBooks differently, we've created all these different ways of being able to pull that batch by date or by class or however it is that people currently have that set up. I'm just going to search this group so that we see a bunch of different things and we're going to pretend, oh, here's the first and here's all these people and they're due on the first and I'm ready to make that payment. I pull them up, search them out according to that group, pull it up, mark that process payment, and then it's going to bing, 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 bing down the road, mark every one of those invoices as paid, as well as send the receipt, as well as put those funds in undeposited accounts. So it just does it all for you. Nice, right? Absolutely. So that would be... I especially like that you can choose different credit cards to pay with because I move move balances when I get like a zero percentage rate and then I don't want to add anything else to that credit card. And so that's really, I think that's really brilliant. (laughs) Yes. All right, Jamie. I, I want to talk about your batch payments for a second. Okay. That that sounds like uh, reoccurring invoices. 
am paying. So yes. if I have invoices set up um, as a bookkeeper and I'm billing my clients the same amount every month, um, those invoices go out automatically. So the process you just showed us would be how you would pay all of those invoices all at once? Right. How, how do you get from, we sent them all out to now we have to record it in QuickBooks. So what I just showed you that processing is now is going to charge their credit card and mark the invoice as paid as well as show the money in undeposited funds. Got it. Jamie, do you have a, a quick little uh, screenshot demo of how this works with the, um, the POS systems? Oh, I'm so glad you brought that up. I don't have a, a screenshot to show you today. I can email that to you. Here's what I want you to know about point of sale. We have been able to set that up to what is called like native. It looks and functions exactly like the point of sale, there's no separate window or separate box or separate anything. It looks exactly as it does through into it. So they create the receipt and then it's kind of like, well, how are you going to pay? By card, swipe the card, process payment. So all of the windows and the clicks and the steps they go through with into it, it's exactly the same with our tool. So we were able to put that one in uh, even even another layer lower, so to speak. So it's not like a window on top of like this one is. It's built right into point of sale. And I will be happy to uh, send you images of that, screenshots of that. Yeah, great. And then I guess it, it pushes the completed transaction into your financial software, correct? Exactly as it does if it was into it. Okay. So what's happening, the only difference is, if you will, is the gateway behind the scene. That instead of going through into its merchant bank account is going into Sage Payment Solution, or going through, I should say, going through Sage Payment Merchant Gateway. Okay. But as far as and what you do, how you do, and how it functions, and what it does within QuickBooks is the same as into it. Okay. And all the credit card numbers um, is stored on your server, not on Correct. our Right. Okay. Correct. And that way, as I said, they're PCI compliant. And again, we're very proud of the fact that we have that level five encryption, which is the highest level of encryption available right now. Okay. Thank you. And if they come up with a higher one, we will have it. Just because, again, it's like the Sage Payment Solution. We're always out there kind of leading the force. Okay. One more thing I would like to show you in here, and that is the reporting tool and the transaction history page and what that looks like. And this, again, is incredible in that it is able to save up to three years worth of history in here. Again, I can search specific things, but I just wanted it to pull up a bunch of stuff so we could see the kinds of things that it's going to show you in this transaction history. And everything, when this is like live, so as soon as I swipe that card and it goes through, it's now in transaction history. If there's any problems with the processing, it will pop up a window and let me know that there was a problem and I need to do something about it such as this situation here. Also, if I need to run a void or if I'm refunding, whether it's a partial refund or an entire refund, I do that from this window. I can pull up that specific invoice and then do the either avoid if it's the same day or refund if it's already gotten to the bank. Whatever I do, it's gonna show me here what happened and which ones went through, which ones didn't, when there was a problem, what it was, et cetera. And as I said, up to three years worth of history, which has come in handy. I have had those people who were like, it's the end of the year and now they're going to their accountant and now they want documents about what happened, when and where. And so we're able to go in here and pull it out for them and send it to them. Nice. Okay, so this is what the QuickBooks tool, this is, like I said, in a nutshell of how that works. And what I want to do next is go back to this screen we talked about. We do all the platforms, the QuickBook platforms, but there are things outside of. In addition to the software, the back end, as I said, it's like, well, so how does the money get from when you swipe that card to the bank, that gateway, that's Sage Payment Solution. And then there are the hardware solutions that we can provide. 
you may have customers who are thinking about moving into this whole world of mobile payment and maybe they want to use their phone maybe they want to use a tablet maybe they've seen these swipers at walmart for square and now they're asking you is that any good well if they're a real business no square was designed for small infrequent payments it's really not a stable enough to handle a full-on business if you will uh, and again it goes to the security issues and so forth we've got those uh, resolved and solved so that we can do this properly uh, so if you got people who are asking you about that let just ask them to talk to us we'll be happy to walk them through find out what they're doing how they're doing things what are they thinking about are they thinking about trade shows are they a service provider that instead of sending out a bill once a month for going out and do pool cleaning they want to be paid at the time they do it there's all kinds of ways why people might think about this that we want to talk to them and then put together the best package for them. This old swiper is here just to let you know that when it comes to the machinery, if they own an old swiper like this, it's going to work perfectly well with our software. We're not going to have to change that. If they're leasing, we're going to want to get them out of the lease because they're paying way too much if they're leasing for a machine. If they want to update machines, we have updated machines. This is here to say, yeah, we work with the old ones as well. If you have people who currently they're wholesale and they're wanting to move to retail, if you got people who are thinking about, hey, point of sale, I saw that in action, think, is that something my business would benefit from? Again, not only do we have the payment gateway, but we also have all the necessary hardware that we can help them make decisions and choices about if that's a good choice for them and how would they like to set that up? What kind of stuff would they like machinery wise would they like to use? And again, no matter how your clients are currently accepting payments, we can work with them. We can work with that. The rare times that we cannot is when there's some type of proprietary software that has locked them into using that company's merchant service. So it's kind of like printers, you know, where you can buy the printer really inexpensively, but the ink is expensive. And the same thing. It's kind of like, oh, yeah, we'll sell you this great software really cheaply, but you have to use our merchant service and consequently we're locking you into a high rate. It happens once in a while, but all the brand name software that's out there, we've got solutions that work with those. So once again, before I get too far ahead into other things, are there any questions at this point? Misha has a question. Yeah. Misha, are you with us? Oh, I put it in the chat, sorry. <laughs> How long are the contracts and how much is the fee to close the service? I'm so glad that you brought that up because that's one of my personal pet peeves is about contracts and getting locked into contracts and so on and so forth. And we worked with a lot of customers who are currently caught up in contracts they don't like and often we can find a way out of that contract for them. We have a couple of different contracts that we offer clients and again, it all depends on the client and their needs. Our standard, this is what's out there in the world in the industry, is three years with a $25 a month fee for every month short of that three-year contract. But we also have a contract because we've had customers come back and say, look, my, my customer just got burned bad on a contract. They don't want that kind of lock-in. Well, we do have one where we offer them, here is... Uh, absolutely free for you to use it for the first six weeks and if you change your mind it's not going to cost you anything it's a one-year contract with again that $25 per month uh, back out if you will and I believe that's like three months free and then uh, there would be nine months at $25 a month or something like that it's it's very no 60 days it's I'm, I apologize it's two months free that they can, if they change their mind, it's not gonna cost them anything. Then after that is $25 a month for the year. So the most they would be, would be $250. And just between us, if that's an issue, they just call us and we work around it. We don't believe in penalizing people. 
it's there in the in the paperwork but i don't know of one time that we've ever really enforced it if people aren't happy with the products and the services we provide we don't want to hold them captive did that answer your question yeah thank you okay sure okay now next Next, so lots to love about us, what we do and how we do things. And now I want to talk about this partnership program and how it works and why we're showing this to the QuickBooks Pro Advisors. Again, we found a lot of people in the world of QuickBooks have not been happy with Intuit, but continue with Intuit because they don't feel they have a choice. And that's why we reached out to the QuickBook Pro Advisors to say, hey, we can provide a choice for your customers. And we're, because you're going to help us, we're going to help you back. And here is how this works. The referral program is based on two things. The number of clients that are referred over to us will determine the percentage of the commission. And then it's the volume of business those clients do. And we found to be able to reach these kinds of numbers that I'm showing you here is we're talking about clients who are processing $10,000 a month or more using credit cards. We're going to provide them larger savings. We're going to be able to do more for them. And it's going to be better for you on the commission side of things since that's how it's based. When we talk about lifetime residual income, what we're talking about here is the customer's lifetime with Sage Payment Solution. As long as they are doing business with us, you will receive a commission every month, whether they're still doing business with you or not, whether you're still in business or not. So if you want to retire, you can retire and we'll still pay that commission to you every month. And this is why it was important to show you that we're out there on the cutting edge, growing with your company as it grows and being able to meet all of their needs, that there's really no reason for them to want to leave us and change. And we found that as people integrate, they don't unintegrate. Once they got used to that whole, oh, really? Just click and click and it's done? Yeah, it really is two clicks and it's done. They don't want to go back to the old way of processing. And when we do quote a price for your customer, we have a price protection guarantee that for the life of the contract, that's the price. We're not putting together some kind of special introductory that we're going to change behind their back or without them knowing it. So that's how the commission works. Does anybody have any question about this part of the program? You refer your clients to us. When they sign up with us, then you get a monthly commission for as long as they're doing business with us. Questions? No? Good. Must explain that good. <laughs> self-explanatory yeah we try to keep all of this stuff as simple as we can so the benefits why would you even want to do this well the obvious one to increase your revenue as a way of creating that residual income i mean i don't know how to make more money without doing less or with doing less than what we're already offering we're just saying hey give us their names and their phone numbers tell us who they are we'll do everything else so we've made it as easy as we can for you so why well you saw why we're wholesale we're one of very few wholesale in the country we can offer them lower prices we know without even seeing what they're doing that we're going to be able to offer them lower prices so it's better for your customer that we have all that cutting edge technology that we grow as they're growing we're right there with them growing right beside them so there's no reason for them to go anywhere else uh, it is where everybody is going and everybody is in flux right now as they're looking at all these new payment solutions like mobile and point of sale. So it's good to know, hey, here's a company who's already on top of it. And again, it goes back to that reputation that we have. We've been around a long time. We've been doing this a long time and we value and protect our reputation. Also, Right now, we have this enrollment program where it's absolutely free. So there's no worry on your side, no investment on your side. It's not going to cost you anything, and you're under no obligation. Yes. So this is the time 
to jump in on this and at least get yourself enrolled. Then we can talk about, well, do you, don't you, how many and how often, and that's where we work as a team. This is what I love. This is amazing. I'm so glad. Yeah, this is a bit, one of the best parts. <laughs> I'm the business development manager. That's not me. <laughs> but I am the business development manager and I work with you. I work with you in providing you materials. I work with you providing you information. I work with you in providing strategy. One of the things that I did with Linda, I'm going to show you here, is we put together a, an electronic referral form. And you notice it has her information on here, so it becomes a marketing tool for her to use that all we need to do is get the business name and a telephone number and they can submit it. And this link has all the information on it that the customer needs that they can enroll themselves. You see the submit button down here now. This link you can put on your website, this link you can put in your, if you do monthly newsletters, if you do a blog, this link you can have on your phone that if you're out and about at say a network meeting and somebody's going, oh man, we're so unhappy with it, you can just say, really? Here, type in your name and your telephone number and press that big orange submit button at the bottom of the page. Thank you. That's all you have to do. And you'll and get the referral. Links back to you. You yes. know then who was referred? Absolutely, because all of your information is on this form. It's electronically linked to us and to all the information so that, see how we got Linda's information there? Also, Linda, anybody, you can choose to be kept in the loop that you will always know, hey, I, I sent Cindy Lou over to you. How's that going? Well, when we call her, you'll get an email. When we make an appointment with her, you'll get an email. When she looks at the contract, you'll get an email. When she signs up, you'll get an email. We keep you in the loop. You can also say, no, thanks. Just <laughs> I'll talk to you next month and you tell me how's it going. But if you want to be, if you want to receive email every step of the way and know what's going on, you have that option to turn that on. But yeah, this is connected. So now that customer will be assigned a number. That number will be, will follow them on all of the reporting that we do. And then when you get your report that says, here's your commissions, you'll see the name of the customer as well as how much commission you earn on that particular deal. Yeah, let me, I'm in a, yeah, hold on. Okay. Do we have questions? Uh, no. Uh, well, the other thing that was important to me is that if we refer a customer a client of ours and they become your customer they get their own IT support and senior account manager as well nice segue thanks <laughs> so that's the next step so you and I work together with materials and strategy and marketing and then every one of your customers is appointed a senior account manager and they, these people are the ones who've been with us the longest they're cross-trained these people are brilliant. These are the pricing masters, by the way. When I mentioned earlier, I'm not the pricing master. These guys are. They put the packages together. They look at it from all different directions to see what's the best way we can go about. They're there to answer any questions. So when your customers refer to us and I put them in touch with, for example, one of our senior account managers I like to work with a lot. His name is Eric and he's brilliant. So now they get Eric's telephone number, email, they get his information and Eric is their direct contact. They don't have to call customer service and wait for the next available operator. <laughs> Eric. And he takes good care of them. Yeah. And if they have any questions, well, Eric, we're thinking about maybe we want to look at maybe mobile, you know. Eric is the one who says, great, let's talk about that. Let me show you what your choices and options are. Let's talk about how are you thinking and what do you see and imagine. He walks them through all of that. They can call him up and go, Eric, I, you know, I was getting these batch emails every day and now I'm not getting them. Eric is like, whoa, let's fix that. There's a lot of stuff that Eric knows how to get in and fix, but if Eric needs help, he's got his own dedicated IT support. Got it. If your customer says, hey, Eric, they call Eric and go, Eric, uh, our machine died. We need a different machine. And so Eric gets on the phone and says, okay, let's get Bob on the phone and talk with Bob. Bob, here's the IT guy. Let's talk about what they're doing, the machine they're using, and what's going to be the best machine for them now. Right. 
So there's those two people. There's a dedicated IT support and dedicated customer service. One person, one phone number, they need IT help. Call Eric, Eric gets you in touch with his specialist. You can't get better customer service than that. No, when you have a specific person that, I just love that. Rather than you're rotating yes. and you don't even know who you're gonna get. It's one or of the get things I love about QBox. There was always this one guy and you know, I mean, I could call him at eight o'clock at night and he'd answer the phone. I'm going like, when does he ever have any time off? But <laughs> Right. Well, we heard from our customers that that's the level of customer service they want. And that's what they expect from the brand Sage. And we said, okay, we're going to give it to you. We do have a question too. Yes. Um, going back to when you said now is a good time to get in before October 15th because there's no charge to become a partner. Yes. How much would the charge be after October 15th? 149.95. 150 bucks. Got it. Right. Thank you. You bet. I can always find a good place to spend 150 dollars. That's well, right. I signed up right away. <laughs> and like I said, there's no obligation. And, and you and I, as the business team developer, I'm going to work with you however you want to work. I have customers that I work with that want to be part of every single thing. It's like, Jamie, here's their name and here's their number, but I'm going to call them. I'm going to get their statements. I want you to send the proposal to me. I'm going to present the, pro and I'm like, okay. <laughs> you yeah. Do yeah. Okay, because typically that's what we do. We do all of that. And then I do have those customers who are just, my gosh, they are working this thing to death as far as everywhere they go, they've learned. You go out to dinner and it's time to swipe your card. They look up at the manager and they go, are you happy with your merchant service? Yeah. That's all they have to say. Because if there's problems, and there are always problems, that people <laughs> telling you. Oh my God, funny you should mention that. Why, just yesterday, while they're talking, you pull up that link and say, okay, your name? Your telephone? I'm going to have somebody get in touch with you about that, okay? Submit. There's your referral. They don't have to be your client base. Anybody you refer, that's why we use that form with that number on it now. Anybody you refer, you're going to get that commission every single month for that person. So when you go to networking groups, when you're out and about, people you know may They're not be doing business with you yet, but let me tell you, you start solving this problem for them, they're going to call you back. That's true. What That's else? True. What else can you do? What else can you do? So the senior account manager is going to ask for a couple of statements, and we talked about that. And once we Got get it. those statements from them, then we're going to put something together for them that looks like, let me drag this over here, that looks like this. And again, we have put right up front because that's the thing everybody wants to know. Well, how much money are you really going to save me? So we make that the first paragraph. This is what we're going to save you. Then we go down and start saying, and here's how we're going to do it. Because we believe in anybody can say anything. Let us show you. Right. Everybody gets caught up in this business about the rate. I, I, 100 times a day. Can you just send me a rate sheet? Well, yeah, I can, but it's useless. <laughs> because everybody well, well, good, is yeah. different. So we need to see what it is they're doing, what it is they're being charged. And again, we found that when we started asking people, so have you looked at your statement lately? The stories we get, like, oh my God, I don't understand. Oh yeah, I have time for that. <laughs> Who's got time for that? They take it out of my bank, I reconcile it, and I toss it aside. Yeah. So they don't realize all of this stuff that's happening to them. Yeah. And this is where we can really shine is that we can go in here and I'm not going to say we rave every fee. We don't. It depends on the customer and their situation. But we have a kind of a blanket policy that just says when we can waive it, waive it. Got it. If we can't waive it, make it the same or less. Right. So that we're giving them the best deal. And again, it goes back to volume. How much business are they doing? What kind of business are they doing? That, that we can then begin to compare apples to apples and say, this is what we can do for you. And once they agree to that, remember, they have that price protection guarantee. We're not going to switch this on them three months later or come back with a letter saying, oh, we noticed your volume dropped, therefore your rates went up. We don't do that. 
So they will get that proposal, that type of a proposal where they can, it's broken down for them, they can look it over and then they can decide what they want to do from there. Sage price protection guarantee. And again, it's so important to us to protect our name, to protect our brand. We are so proud of the BBB A plus rating because that's just unheard of out there in the merchant service industry. <laughs> We've worked hard to get that rating and to keep that rating. Right. You know, you can go on the internet and look at reviews. Anybody can say anything about anybody. But when you go through BBB, you, you have to jump through some hoops and earn those ratings. That's true. So we're proud of it. And we want you to know it's okay to refer your customer to us. Okay. Anyway, one last thing. I do have this special running too, that when you sign up with me and we get you enrolled, if we can get five customers to sign up within the first four months, it's an additional $2,500 cash that we will put in your account. Just to sweeten things. Oh, we have another good question too. Yes. Which, I mean, that's, that's, that, that's pretty special. And I, there are probably a number of people in here can do that. I know I can't. Oh. Um, but do you link with other providers like Bill.com that need a gateway to be able to use credit cards in the same way maybe 17 hats? That's interesting. I've not heard of 17 hats. The other one sounds familiar. So, yes. Again, it's that we're that gateway that our SPS is the gateway that regardless of the type of software. So yes, we do work with other like bill to pay. We do work with other uh, companies that have created modules and so forth. Yeah. And yet they, if they're processing through us, they're going to get a better rate. Right. We some people who use like bill to pay, but they're, it, they went through their bank. And so they're paying all those monthly fees that banks love to charge, not to mention any names, Wells Fargo. Right. That, We've, we're able to say, yeah, we can, you can use that module and still process through us in the background and we'll save you a heck of a lot of money. Right. Now, Jamie, one other thing, because this is, I can straighten it out in my head too at the same time, and I think it'll answer people's questions. Uh, I signed up with you now, even mm -hmm. though right now I don't have a client I think I can refer to you. I think the two sure. clients I have that process credit cards one would process more than 10,000 a month, but they're on that proprietary software, Oak Street. Right, right. The other right. one is on the internet and they use, I want to say Spotify, but that's music. It, it's something that sounds like Spotify, but it's Shopify. That's it. <laughs> there you go. And I don't know that you connect with Shopify either. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. So yeah, well, yeah. But they don't have that high a volume. But it, 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 I don't see how it hurts me. Even if I don't send you any clients in the next two months, it just means I make no money or less money than if I hadn't signed up. And I don't have to pay you 150 Right, right. There's the advantage. Signing up now means you don't have to pay that $150 enrollment fee. Signing up now means that because so many times it happens unexpectedly that I've gotten people who go like, oh my God, JB, oh my God. Yeah, so this, this guy does this and this and this. And we were talking and he said this and it was like, oh my God, Jamie said they would do that. And I want to go, so let's sign him up, okay? And it's like, okay, but now I've got to process all your paperwork first. first. <laughs> got it. And that can take some time and then uh, then we'll get his information. So this makes it so when you call, because I'm a, a hit when the iron's hot. So you call me and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, this is so much. I go, oh, yes, it is, it is, it is, let's do it. We can get on it right away. Got it. And again, it goes back to customer service. People no like it when you, when you say, hey, I got a solution for you. They don't want to wait three weeks. <laughs> so we're getting close. It's now 3.15. Okay. 3.30. So if anyone here wants to sign up before October 15th and save that money, how would they do that? It's very easy. Uh, we, uh, we're we're going to clean it up. But on the Facebook page, we put the three documents. There's three documents to okay. sign. Really? One of them is a comp plan, one is a referral agreement, and one is called the Schedule A. Those three documents, we make them available to you through the Facebook page, or you can contact me directly, and we'll go through yeah. this. But when I get those three pieces of paper and a W-9, avoided check from wherever you want this money deposited, whichever bank account you want to use for that. 
that's all I need. And then we'll get that paperwork submitted and processed and perfect. All of that good stuff that then, then you and I can say, okay, now let's catch our breath, especially because I know this crazy tax time is coming up. It's like, let's catch your breath. Now, this is such an ideal time too, because I know I had so much problems with this and never thought to talk to my accountant about it. She was oh. brilliant at telling me all these wonderful things that she could do for us, but she never mentioned that she knew anything about merchant services. So when I had problems, I went to my bank, which was the worst place to go. So you guys are going to be from now to the end of the year, you're going to be in touch with a lot of your customers, right? Oh. Talking about year end, uh, when we clean up, can you give it the tab? Da, 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 da. And it's, this is the perfect time to just ask, by the way, you happy with your merchant service provider? Yes, I am. Good. Next question. Sure. No, <laughs> really. If they're not, let them vent and then give us their name and their number and we'll take it from there for you. Yeah, I think if nothing else, they would get, let's say that we went and got a quote and it was only a little bit better and they'd say, oh, oh, yeah, that's good. But then even if they got the quote and it was just a little bit better, if they knew they had those three dedicated specialists right. that right. they could call so that when they, because they might remember the last time they had a problem and it took over a week to work out the solution because it was for one person right. and what was the case number and, right. you know, we've all been through that before. Yeah. So I think uh, if nothing else, they'll say, well, you know, thank you. I appreciate you tried saving me money. It didn't work, but that's okay. Yeah. They know you're working already. on their behalf. Exactly, exactly. And they do remember us as because we keep in touch and say, hey, as you grow and as you expand and you want to or when things change and you're looking for change, remember us. You know, we, we keep that relationship open that their information available that in the future they call back a year or two years from now. We're still there and we're still going to hold their hand and walk them through the process and help. them. Okay, a, c a couple more questions, and sure. then I think we need to open it up for everybody and go back out of screen sharing. Can you or will you put a copy of this slide deck? Is this in PowerPoint or what is it in? Yes, this is PowerPoint. Could you put that on the SBAA website? Yes. I'm, I've had a number of different people say they would like to have that slide deck. They can then review it at their own convenience. They could be yes. talking with their clients also. Absolutely. Um, the other thing is, if, you, if we have clients that are very seasonal, in other words, uh, like... Uh, yeah, like we, we get those people who is like, oh, yeah, we run this... We can say higher protraction, but time. no monthly fee kind of thing. I'm thinking, I, I, I'm a treasurer of a nonprofit, and we have one golf tournament a year. And for that golf tournament, we probably process, you know, $10,000, $20,000, but we're going through PayPal right now. Right. And PayPal's not, you have to guess best rates. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But it's, people are familiar, so. Yeah, exactly. So here's a couple of things. When it comes to nonprofit, we have some really great solutions. We've had a lot of people who have converted from, yes, we have that one big yearly event, but we also keep a website going and active for yes. throughout the year. There's where we really can help you out because we have some amazing solutions. And Visa and MasterCard offer special rates for nonprofits, which we honor those lower rates, which we found a lot of banks do not. So right. know that when it comes to nonprofit. Now the question about can seasonal. You stop sharing your screen so everybody oh, can get. Sure. All right. No problem. All right. It's not a, stop not a problem. sharing. There we go. There we go. Oh, everybody can't be seen, but that's okay. Well, oh, that's okay. That's okay. So <laughs> seasonal. We I do have some customers that are seasonal, and we've worked together a package that says, oh, so your ski season is from here to here. That's when there's no fees and charges and stuff for the months you're closed. Perfect. Yeah, you're going to love talking with the Sage folks because I tell you, they're the most reasonable people and are always looking at how do we help your business grow? What yeah. do we do that's good for you? The other thing is Jamie says one of her bosses is going to be at QuickBooks Connect and she's going to 
do something about introducing us to him. So, so he gets invited to our little uh, Zoom meeting at the end of right. the connect. Right. So if you guys have, uh, if you guys want to meet with him and you guys have a specific day and time where you're going to be having a meeting, you would like him to attend that meeting, he would be more than happy to do that. Or if you have, you know, if I can get your individual names and business cards and figure out ways where he can call you while he's there to contact you, we can do that. As well. well, we're going to do a Zoom meeting at the end. We're just going to all be talking to each other because uh, we're not flying out right away. Now, he may have a flight already scheduled right at the end, but we're meeting like between, it ends at 2 o'clock, and I think we're meeting at 2.30 in like a general right. area of QuickBooks Connect. Right, right. Okay. So I can get your his information so you can kind of invite him to that. Yeah, if you give it to me or Gina or Marietta, we'll be fine. We he'll we'll get invited. Excellent. That'll be fun. Woohoo. Will you tell him how wonderful you are? Oh, thank you. Give you a raise and a good bonus for Christmas. <laughs> <and all that. laughs> Anybody else have any questions about anything? I know how to make a mean chili. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh, that sounds good to me. I like chili, too. <laughs> well, was... I want to thank you all so much for inviting me and allowing <clears throat> me to talk about this. You can tell I'm quite passionate about it. As I said, I worked for 100 years with bookkeeping. Did not want to deal with Intuit. I wanted integration. I called everybody. Do you have an in integrated solution? Do you wow. have an integrated solution? And, of course, like I said, I made the mistake of calling the banks, right? Because... It was money, merchant service, they handle it, right? Well, they do, but they do have the highest prices also. That's what I found out. <laughs> and then I think you also get locked into a contract. I went to somebody, uh -huh. and I didn't realize, I never thought you had to ask, you know, to get out of a contract. Right. And whoever it was, I just called and I canceled the contract. I'd been it for like two years. And, right, right. Was a, and I had never yet received one monthly statement in the mail for which I was paying $20 a month for it. And I just got angry. So I canceled it. And on Christmas Eve day, this credit card company sucked $300 <gasps> out of the bank account. That was a cancellation fee. Mm-hmm. Well, the, com the bank that we had that won I won't mention their name, Wells Fargo, uh, signed us up for a contract, introductory rate, raised it, raised the fees, automatically renewed my enrollment, locked us into a five-year contract with a $5,000 cancellation. <laughs> Ouch. So Sage anyway. was able to get us out of it. We, we worked with SPS. I called them up. I was outraged. I fired... Uh, that bank from all of our business banking and then uh, we went with this model because it was the only one I found out there that was truly integrated and that's how I became such uh, so passionate and so enthusiastic about it because I know what it did for me as well as what it did for the company I was working for yeah. Oh, where did it go to? Here it is. Well, thank you, Jamie. Thank you for coming and talking to us. Sounds amazing. Uh -huh. um, everybody will be able to find more information at the group. Tell yep. us where we can find you outside of the group. Okay. My email address, is that what you're looking for? Yeah, we can put that in the chat. Okay, is Jones at Sage Payment Solution, all singular. Sage With no S. Solution. Oh, so sagepaymentsolution.com. There's no S. Correct. No S at the end. Okay, there you go. It's in the there chat. That's the way to get a hold of me. There you My go. phone number, 925-301. Okay, 925-301. Sorry, I didn't get the last four. 9628. 9628. Here we go. There it is. I am on the West Coast. So Pacific yeah, Time. Yeah, she's above me. She's north of me about 500 miles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you call me at an odd time, trust me, I will get to you first thing in the morning because that's the first thing yeah, I she's, do. She's real good about getting back to you, yeah. I've left right. messages and she usually gets back really quick so 
All righty. Okay. Well, thank I'm you so looking much. Forward to uh, using my credit card and and to, uh, to accidentally running into a lot of people that are very unhappy with their merchant processing. So. Oh, trust me, trust me. You're gonna be surprised. You bring it up. Mm. Yeah. I'll go That's off on you. I know right. what I'm praying for now. Now that the hurricane is hopefully moving on through, so. Yes. Yes. I know a lot of people out there. I, we were holding our breath for a lot of family members. Yeah, well, out there. Thank you so, very thank much you. for coming on. And yeah. I'm glad that that worked out well. And yes. Okay. We can keep referring people back and forth. So it would be a wonderful thing. Yeah. All right. All right, thank you. everybody. <laughs> we will see you. We're going to say goodbye. Bye -bye. We will see you next week. Have yeah. a great weekend. Yeah. Thank you. you and too. stay safe. Yes. Stay safe. Yes. Safe, safe.